somebody that has a digital SLR either knows what dust is all about and why you don't want it on your sensor, or they need to learn. And I'm here with Russ Wardhouse from DustAid, who's going to tell us about a new product with a totally new way of getting dust off of the camera sensor. What can you tell us, Russ? Uh, what we did was come up with a cleaning adhesive that's used to remove the dust particles. It's a great solution because it doesn't use canned air, and it doesn't use liquids, and it doesn't use a swiping movement across the sensor filter. What it uses is ultra-low tack tape to go down and pick up the adhesive, and it's been tested to show that it leaves no residue after application. So I can go ahead and show you real quick how this works. Okay, so you just picked up one of those little adhesive you squares. Up, you get 12 tapes per pad. Then all you have to do, just step it on the side, apply it four times in the corner, and you're done. And wow. you're off shooting. Wow, that's great. So it just goes in, grabs the dust particles, and pulls them right off. Right. Leaves no residue, and it's easy for traveling. You just throw this in the backpack. There's no liquids, no canned air. Easy to take on a plane. Great for the traveling photographer. And it's a great, uh, great packaging. It's a uh, dust aid box, just like a band aid. Yep. Hard, hard case. Put it in your pocket. Yep. Put it in your pack. As a nature photographer, I really wanted something to protect it when I threw it in my backpack when I'm going out camping for three or four days. I don't want it to get crushed, so I use this and uh, use it. That's great. And uh, what's a what's a cleaning kit cost? Uh, it's going to retail for thirty nine ninety five. And that gives you how many cleanings? Uh, that's twelve. So about three dollars and thirty cents per cleaning. That sure beats sending it into the manufacturer oh, yeah. at fifty to hundred bucks a pop. Yeah, it sure does. It's great. Fast. Great. Dust aid for sensor cleaning. Thanks a lot, Ross.